Hello friends, a very very warm welcome to you. I am Dr. Raj Shekhar and this is my video blog. Today I wanted to talk to you about a question which comes to me occasionally. People ask me sometimes, you know, that uh, I have a background anxiety all the time in my mind. I don't feel so excited and happy when I have a triumph and then I go back to being my anxious self. So what is the solution for that? So I wanted to share a few things about how to be happy. I read about this. There are studies conducted on this. I applied, I realized that even I face this issue. I applied this in my life and I learned a few things and I wanted to share that with you. Is that okay? Now, the first thing, I want to ask you one thing. Do you understand what is muscle tone? If you have felt your muscle, you can feel that there is a slight contraction in it, slight tension in it, even when it is in a resting state. That is called a muscle tone. And if you ever felt a muscle of somebody who is just now passed away, you will realize how flabby it is. Right? So that is the muscle tone. The slight resting muscle tension. The same kind of tone is there in our mind as well. A background activity which goes on in the mind. But there is a slight difference in the background tone in the mind. That it has a quality. It is either positive or it is negative. Either we are happy or we are desolate. Now, when I ask somebody, are you happy? The first response always is, yeah, I am happy. It's a defense mechanism. It's an ego issue. Nobody wants to admit that they are not happy. Isn't that true? I am not talking about that pretension. I am talking about being honest to ourselves and admit. It is not easy to identify. So let us do a test. It is a very simple test. You need to remember an event in the past. Okay. Now do not go too far in the back. Something which you can recall all the uh, details. Okay, it should be an event in which you either appeared for an exam or a competition or maybe your loved one, your child and the result is about to come and then there is a disappointment, there is a failure. Now, as soon as the failure happens, the disappointment happens, we go through a process of rationalization because we are, you know, optimistic, we are, uh, you know, positive minded, we want to strengthen ourselves, we want to come back and do work on it again. So we start rationalization. I am not talking of rationalization. Before that starts, before that, there is a period during which we are just like children, we are like kids. We react with a kind of disappointed, sad feeling. What are the first few thoughts that you have? And I will bet my money on it that most of us always have this or one of these thoughts is that I knew this was going to happen. I expected this. I knew this was going to fail. Things never work out and stuff like that. This is a reflection of the background tone. This is an indication of the fact that there is a tendency to be unhappy. Now, the important point is this. That if this is the background tone, then when you actually have a triumph, when you have a victory, then the blip which goes up will not be as high as you would want it to be. Even if it does go up, it will not stay like that for too long. You will soon come back to this background tone. So if you are not feeling very happy most of the time, it is because your background tone is not high. You are not upbeat. At the moment when you face disappointment, it's not possible to feel upbeat when you're disappointed if you're expecting it. So the first thing to do is to learn how to be upbeat even at that point of time. It's not possible to be upbeat by deciding at that moment when the disappointment comes to us. It is only possible if we work on our mindset at a time when we have control over our minds, like now before the competition actually starts. So when you are in your regular time, there are two things that you can do. One, 
is gratitude. And the second is to believe in your potential. Believe in your destiny. Believe in the fact that it will happen. Believe that failure is temporary. That it is ultimately going to work out for you. When you build that belief, then your disappointment will never be acute. At that moment, you will be able to take it in the good way. And when you have that, then when you actually have a triumph, you will be joyous. You will be happy. This is what I wanted to share. I hope I made sense to you. Do give me your feedback. And if you like this, do share this video. Thank you so much for listening to me. See you around. Bye.